We know you're eager to try out your new machine, but before you begin setup, please take a few minutes to review important safety information and tips for the Millermatic 355, and remember to wear appropriate safety gear during setup and welding. For operators who don't use auto set and choose to set parameters manually, the Millermatic 355 has a manual MIG mode they can use to customize their weld settings. To use manual mode, press Auto Set button to disable Auto Set feature and the Auto Set backlight will turn off. The different weld options can be accessed by pressing the Setup button in the bottom left of the display. Use the left knob to select the option and the right knob to customize its settings. Matching the type of wire and gas being used, along with the proper wire diameter, is important to optimize the arc starts and arc performance. In this example, we will set the machine for mild steel with 7525 gas. Rotate left knob to select wire and gas type. Rotate right knob to select steel with 7525 shielding gas. Next, rotate left knob to select wire diameter and rotate right knob to select 035 wire. The following are the other optional variables that can also be adjusted to customize your settings. Occasionally, you will see the text Pro Set. Pro Set highlights in blue recommended factory settings for easy setup and recall. Inductance for MIG changes the fluidity of the weld puddle. Increasing will produce a flatter bead or more fluid puddle and decreasing will produce a higher crown and stiffer arc. Proset default is 50. Inductance can also be adjusted from the home screen. Arc control for pulse will add or reduce the amount of power, which will vary the width and height of the welding arc cone. Proset default is 25. Arc control can also be adjusted from the home screen. Preflow. The amount of time that the shielding gas will flow after the trigger is pressed and before the welding arc can start. Preflow settings range from zero to five seconds. Postflow, the amount of time that the shielding gas will flow after the arc has been shut off. Postflow settings range from zero to five seconds. Run-in, the speed of the wire prior to the welding arc being struck. Auto is the default setting. The other options are disabled or manual. Manual settings range from 5 to 150% of the welding wire feed speed. Fast Tack reduces the arc start time by automatically increasing the run-in wire feed speed when doing repetitive arc starts. Default setting is disabled. Aluminum Pulse Hot Start Mode. There are three Aluminum Pulse Hot Start Mode settings, Auto, Disabled and Manual. Auto uses factory default start parameters. Disabled turns off the factory default start feature. Manual mode gives the operator the ability to adjust start arc length, start wire speed, start time, and ramp down time to customize their arc start settings. Crater mode. There are two crater mode settings, disabled and manual. Crater is the amount of time the welding arc stays on after the welding gun trigger is released. This feature is used to fill the void or crater at the end of the weld. Crater settings range from 0.1 to 5 seconds. Default setting is disabled. Trigger hold. The trigger hold feature allows the operator to release the trigger during long welds. The hold time is the minimum amount of time the trigger must be held for the trigger hold to become active. The maximum trigger hold time is always four seconds after the trigger hold delay. For example, if the trigger hold delay is set to two seconds, the trigger hold window is from two to six seconds. Spot timer. To enable the spot timer, 
Ensure trigger hold feature is disabled. The spot time is the amount of time that the arc can be active before it shuts off automatically. Spot timer setting range from 0 to 120 seconds. Spot timer is reset upon release of welding gun trigger. Stitch timer used in conjunction with the spot timer and while the trigger is continuously being pressed, stitch timer controls the amount of time that the arc will be inactive after the spot timer times out. Stitch time settings range from 1 to 120 seconds. After the adjustments are made, push the home button and return to the weld screen. All timers that have been set can be viewed on the front display. Consult the owner's manual to learn more about all of these settings.